Hey guys, and thanks for tuning in to Trade Chat. My name is Panzer, and today I'm going to be talking about patch 4.3, the new five man instances, and the new raid. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you do, remember to rate it thumbs up. Before I get into the World of Warcraft part of this video, I did want to mention that unfortunately Diablo 3 has been delayed until at least early 2012. No official release date yet, hopefully we will find out more at BlizzCon. Last week I told you guys about the new legendary weapon and I did just want to further clarify that it is a set of daggers. It is not one but two. Um, it is rogue specific. You have to be a rogue to pick up the quest and it will work with all specs of rogue. And one last thing before I get into the patch 4.3 stuff is that this week we actually saw leaked photos of a spectral griffin and a spectral wind rider. No information as to how they will be obtained or when they will be added into the game but I am so excited to learn more because they are so cool. Moving on to patch 4.3, and the important things that you guys really want to know about is the new five-man instances that will be coming with this patch. They will have their entrances in the Caverns of Time, so as you guessed, you do a little bit of time traveling. The first five-man is called End Time, and in this instance, players will actually be given a glimpse of the future if Deathwing is not defeated. The second instance is called the Well of Eternity, and players will be brought back in time, specifically to the War of the Ancients, to help Thrall recover Dragon Soul to use against Deathwing. The third new instance is called the Hour of Twilight, and in this instance, the players will actually escort Thrall through the Wormrist Temple and end in a location of the final battle against Deathwing. These three five-man instances will lead up to the new raid Dragon Soul, which is the raid where Deathwing will be featured. There are eight bosses in this raid, although bosses seven and eight are both Deathwing. The first boss is Martok, who was once a passive guardian and is now the most powerful elemental under Deathwing's control. The second boss is Warlord Zanaz. The third boss is Yorsaj the Unsleeping. The fourth boss is Hagar the Binder, and she was actually ensnared by Windlord Alkir when she was still a student because he caught her binding elementals into servitude. So now she's loyal to the elementals and she binds people for the elementals to torment. The fifth boss in Dragon Soul is Altraxion, and he is the only dragon that Deathwing has ever praised. This is probably because he is hellbent on taking down the Wormrest Temple, and he spent his entire life absorbing the essences of captured dragons. The sixth boss, and the last boss that you will fight before fighting Deathwing, is Warmaster Blackhorn and his group of elite Drake Riders that are actually Deathwing's personal escorts. The Deathwing battle in Dragon Soul is so intense that it's actually broken up into two separate encounters. Um, the first part of the Deathwing fight is actually takes place in the air and players jump off of gunships with parachutes and shoot at him and fight him mid-flight. You try to get his armor off so that he is exposed and obviously easier to hit. And if you can make it through the flight aspect, which is its own fight itself, then you will land in the maelstrom for the final encounter and hopefully the demise of Deathwing. If you're awesome enough to defeat Deathwing in the Maelstrom, you will be given a mount reward and Deathwing will only drop weapons as loot. Also, in the Dragon Soul raid, we will see the introduction of epic gems. Each of the eight bosses will drop a geode for each player, and when you open the geode, there is a chance that there will be an epic gem. There's a way, way better chance that it will be a rare gem, but there's still a chance at an epic gem. So the Deathwing battle actually brings me into today's question of the day, and that is who is the most badass boss that has so far been in World of Warcraft? Leave your answer in the comments section below or upload a video response. While you're thinking about that, check out today's screenshot of the day. And it looks like that's my cue, guys, but before I go, I did want to announce the winner of the Spirit Hoods giveaway, and that was 1918 British Air Force. Uh, congratulations, I think you won the Polar Bear one. Um, I'll be contacting you on YouTube to get your shipping information, although it may be like a little bit delayed because my contact at Spirit Hoods is in Japan right now, so <laughs> it might be like a week later than initially intended, but you will get it. Congratulations, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, remember to rate it thumbs up and comment and subscribe. I love you all. You're in my hearts. I'll see you soon. I hope you're having a great day, guys. Bye. The fifth boss is Altrixion, and he is the Altrixion? The fifth Altra Altrix Altraxion. 
The fifth boss in Dragon Soul is Altraxion, and he is the only dragon that Deathwing has ever praised, which is probably because he's hellbent on taking down the Wormless Temple, and he spent his entire life capturing the... Absorbing. Absorbing. Absorbing! Yeah. The third boss is Yarsha... Yarsaj. Yarsaj. At one point, players will actually take to the skies and parachute down. How does that work? Then you will land in the Maelstrom for the final encounter. Yeah, that's how I say, like, Maelstrom, Maelstrom. I don't really know how to say that word. That's okay.